every crime leaves something behind. Not just fingerprints or DNA, but time, movement, behavior. For centuries, justice depended on what humans could notice, what witnesses remembered, and what investigators could connect. But today, we are entering a new era, an era where machines do not just observe crimes, they reconstruct them, not emotionally or morally, but relentlessly. And that will change justice forever. Humans investigate one lead at a time. AI does not. AI looks at everything simultaneously. Thousands of CCTV feeds, millions of financial transactions, years of phone metadata, and social networks stretching across continents. Not because AI understands crime, but because it understands patterns. Patterns of movement, patterns of escalation, patterns of behavior that repeat, even when people believe they are being original. A human detective might follow intuition. AI follows probability, and probability does not get tired. It does not blink or forget. For the first time, crimes are no longer isolated events. They become data points inside a much larger story. Every deleted file leaves a trace. Every compressed image remembers what it once was. And every voice recording contains far more information than just words. AI can now reconstruct blurred security footage, distorted audio, partial license plates, faces hidden behind shadows. Not perfectly, not magically, but statistically. It doesn't say, this is the suspect. It says, given everything we know, this version is most likely. And that difference matters, because AI does not claim truth, it claims likelihood. But in a courtroom, likelihood can feel dangerously close to certainty. What if crime could be stopped before it happens? This is the promise of predictive policing. AI models can identify neighborhoods where crime is likely to increase. Times of day where risk peaks. Situations where escalation is statistically common. On paper, this sounds like prevention. In reality, it raises an uncomfortable question. Are we preventing crime? or predicting people. Because once risk becomes a number, someone always ends up wearing it. And AI does not understand context. It only sees correlations. And correlations, when treated as destiny, can quietly become punishment before anything has happened. AI will never understand justice. Justice is human, messy and emotional. It understands something entirely different, probability. In the courtroom, AI can highlight inconsistencies in testimony, analyze past rulings for bias, simulate alternative interpretations of evidence, so it can reveal patterns humans are blind to, including their own prejudice. But here's the danger. When a machine presents numbers, humans tend to trust them, even when they shouldn't. So the question is no longer, is this evidence valid? But who is accountable when an algorithm is wrong? Because a judge is the only one who can actually explain a sentence, an algorithm can only render one. Every technology that protects society also empowers those who want to break it. Criminals will use AI to generate fake alibis create synthetic identities, manipulate video and audio evidence, and automate fraud at a scale never seen before. This is no longer a battle between law enforcement and criminals. It is a battle between models, between detection and deception, AI versus AI. And in that arms race, truth becomes harder to recognize than lies. We like to believe machines are neutral. They are not. AI learns from historical data, and history is full of bias. If the past was unfair, the model will reflect that, only faster and more efficiently. 
AI does not remove human bias. It amplifies whatever it is fed. And once wrapped in code, bias stops looking like opinion and starts looking like fact. AI will help solve crimes. There is no doubt about that. It will find connections we never could, expose lies we would have missed, and reveal patterns buried deep inside chaos. But it will also expose something else. How fragile justice always was. The real question is not can AI solve crimes. The real question is, can humans remain fair once machines show us everything? Because justice was never just about knowing more. It was about choosing wisely with what we know.